Hello guys, Digits here, and today I'm bringing you something a little different. This game is called FTL, Faster Than Light, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. So, what it is, is they claim that it's a roguelike survival game, and it's very... Well, it doesn't look pretty, it looks pretty, but it's really fun, and I don't really know how to describe it, so let's just start a new game. Yeah, so I'll be splitting this into a series, so every um, sector, which is the way you progress through the game, will be one episode each. So here's your first ship. I have a few more unlocked. Still working on these four. They're, the hard, they're somewhat hard for me to get. So this is your standard ship. I have the B layout unlocked, and then there's also the C layout. I forget how to unlock that, but let's play with just the standard. Normal is hard, and hard is, well, have fun. You're not going to get past the first four sectors. So easy, definitely where you should go, and advanced edition content. And that's one of the newer updates for the game, so you can disable or enable that. I'll leave it enabled for now because it's actually fun playing with it. Here we go. Alright, if you want to read that, pause the video. So here's the game, like I said, not too pretty, but pretty at the same time. I am going to save that. I am also going to disable that, get that up, get my weapons up, and jump. So here's what this one sector looks like. I have to get to there to finish the sector. I generally explore as much. You'll see one extra little twist later on. Jump there. So you have your fuel, missiles, and then your drone parts. Investigate, try to get peacefully. Yay! So we got a fuel, a missile, some scrap, and a, a crew member. You will be our engineer. You now shields. And I just like to wait until they're there. It doesn't really matter, but there. Station safe. Okay, so we have 43 scrap now. And I am going to upgrade the reactor and get the medical bay online. Ooh, there's a store there. I'll jump here and go to the store. not selling any missiles. Alright, so you may have seen a little red line there. That's the rebels. They're trying to chase after you and it kind of forces you to continue through the game. So, let's see what do we have there. Ooh, that would be useful. Oh, uh, for now... Missile. And that. Jump. So the rebels are trying to catch you. There's a few things where you can get danger. There's the asteroid and the beacons too close to the star. And then here's combat system. So space bars pause and unpause. So I'm going to forget that there. Not there. Hopefully I can disable them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I could press V and use auto fire, but I don't wanna. Alright, his weapons are down, thank god. Um I don't wanna use my mis missiles any more than I need to. Lasers don't use anything, but the missiles do use one missile every time it's fired. One missile. Alright. And here comes pain. Um, all the doors. Close important ones. And there. Should get us through this. Um, 
over there. You're kidding me. Missiles do go through shields, though. That's the one thing that they're good with. Yeah. Phasers will be blocked by shields. Missiles can go through them. And the Artemis missile here recharges faster than the first laser that you start out with. Alright, there. So far it's pretty easy. I had an intruder drone. We should be able to survive now. Our shields will block most of the asteroids. A distress beacon. There can be any number of things at these. Sometimes it's a trap, sometimes it's not. Don't become too attached to your crew. That's my number one tip. That was the first time I've ever seen that one, so that's why I did it. Weird. Alright. So O2 is oxygen. Your oxygen is out your oxygen levels, which is here. We'll start going down. You get evade all sorts of different things. You have your weapons, med bay, which can also be replaced with a clone bay, your engines and your shields. They all play a certain role. During combat and such, the med bay lets you heal up your crew and everything. So here's your upgrades, and you also have your equipment. I'm probably going to end up selling that. I hardly ever use drones on this ship. So you have your power, your subsystems, which is your piloting, sensors, and doors. And you have all your different systems, and there's three other systems you can get. There's cloaking drones, and the other one I don't remember. So, right, that, that. So now I have two shields. You have your shields up here two of them. So, this episode's almost over already, wow. Oh. Alright, shields, weapons, and drone. That drone takes out, oh wait, it can't, ha uh ha. -huh. It's saying it can't, and then it does the one thing that allows it to, but that's very rare. And let's take out the drone system, because I don't like drones. So that's basically what drones do, is they can fly around. Our shields. Alright, the 
stress and then we'll go to the exit because it's getting very close. Oh, trying to alien spider sleep from alone. Can't risk that. Hey. I'll do that. It's cheaper than upgrading them myself. Alright. So that's going to be it for this episode. Let's see. In the comments, tell me if you want me to go to the civilian sector or the Zoltan sector. It'll all make sense as I continue to explain the game mechanics. This is the last one that we have to get to. Sector 8. So tell me which one to go to, and I will see you guys next time.